Hi, everybody, and welcome again to this webinar on how to turn 62% of the people in your LinkedIn groups into prospects for your business. Uh, John's going to be putting on a link for testing uh, a survey that we, we would like some information on, and then he'll bring it down. So as soon as it comes on, if you're using LinkedIn now to generate paying clients for your business, just click on yes or no. And then we'll take it down. But anyway, yeah, I'm really, really excited. You know, at 74, as I mentioned at the last webinar, I'm doing webinars. I can't believe it. I just can't. But I want to tell all of you to make sure you have a paper and pencil handy because you're going to take a lot of notes and you're also going to get a copy of the recording uh, uh, in about a couple of days so that you could watch it also in your leisure. All right? So, you know, the whole thing here is to, to really just uh, take notes and have things go. But have a pen and paper handy to do that. Now, as uh, just like with the last one, hold your questions off till the end, and we'll answer all your questions that you have. So it's interesting that only 33% of you uh, use LinkedIn for prospecting. I mean, in my coaching program, uh, uh, it's unbelievable what they do with LinkedIn, where they're getting so many prospects. Uh, uh, you know, uh, but also I want to tell you. Uh, uh, it's going to be worth your while to just stay on until the end, all right? So anyway, uh, as I said, the title of this webinar is how to turn 62% of the people in your LinkedIn groups into prospects for your business. Here's just a little background on myself. You know, I hate to talk about myself, but so many of you keep wondering a little bit about me. So, you know, I'll leave this up for about five to ten seconds. And you can just quickly read it, and then uh, when you get the link, you can, if you want to learn a little bit more about me and my background and my bio, call it what you want, uh, this is what you could do here. You know, what I'm going to be going over with you, I don't know if any of you know, but back in the 70s and 80s, I created two network marketing companies. And I really wish that I had the accessibility of the Internet there now, like we have now, because with the internet and all the other venues that are available I mean it's a slam dunk on how to be highly successful I mean not just successful but highly successful in the network marketing business why do people use LinkedIn well number one it maintains professional identity makes for useful contacts searches for opportunities you can have there and staying in touch did you know that four out of five LinkedIn members drive business decisions? This is remarkable. Four out of five. And 39% of the members, by the way, on LinkedIn are senior level executives and above. But 28% of the members are responsible for spending money and managing budgets. LinkedIn members are active, influential professionals in a business frame of mind. They use LinkedIn to learn about new products and services, and they keep up with industry trends, research companies, network with peers, and they conduct business. This is very interesting. LinkedIn reaches a unique audience. 83% of LinkedIn users don't visit Pinterest. 59% do not visit Google+. 58% do not visit Twitter. 13% do not visit Facebook. That's incredible. LinkedIn is a powerful network with over 400 million. There's probably more than 400 million now, all right, who are also consumers. The buying power index, recent studies show LinkedIn members have the highest buying power compared to other social networks. Just look at LinkedIn compared to Facebook. I know we have such a desire to be on Facebook, but the results show that more people will buy when they relate to you on LinkedIn. All right, communicating on LinkedIn. Understanding your connections and effect on your ability to communicate in LinkedIn. You've got three different levels of people on LinkedIn. Your first degree people 
it, you're directly connected to because you've accepted their invitation to connect or they've accepted your invitation. Now what this means is you can contact them at any time by sending them a message on LinkedIn. And then you've got the second degrees who are people who are connected to your first degree connections. And you can send them in invitations by clicking on connect or contacting them through an in-mail. But the third level of degree connections, people are connected to your second degree connections. If their full first and last names are displayed, all right, you can send them an invitation by clicking connect. If only the first letter of their last name is displayed, clicking connect is not an option, but you can still contact them through an in-mail. Here's some key strategies to help convert LinkedIn connections into prospects. Number one, optimize your LinkedIn profile. Key areas you should consider is headline summary, contact info, experience, and job description. All right? When I went over the Meetup uh, uh, webinar earlier, I showed you how you could create an elevator pitch, and that should be in your headline in your profile. All right? If any of you want to have uh, me to go over with you to arrange a phone call for me to show you do, doing your elevator pitch. Uh, if you're in my coaching program, we already did it. But if you're not, just send me an email at kenpbg at aol.com and I'll be glad to arrange that. But you want to build your first level connections, which is what we're going to be doing. You want to join LinkedIn groups of where your prospect is. You want to create your own LinkedIn group also. But you want to keep your profile alive and engaging. Now, how do you join LinkedIn groups? Number one, you click on uh, interest in groups. You click in the search bar on the top, and there's a down arrow to the left of the search bar. I'm bringing my circle and around that right here. It's right there. You click on that, and then you click on Groups. All right? Then you click in the search bar the type of a group that your prospect is in. It could be nurses. It could be landscapers. It could be small business owners. It could be network marketing, MLM. You just type the different keyword in there, and then you click on the blue icon to the right. That looks like a magnifying glass. This now will look, link and show the groups that are there. Now the first group, small business owners, I'm already a member. But I want to join the mastermind group for small business owners. So what I do is click on mastermind group for small business owners and this is what's going to come up. And then you want to click on the right, ask to join. And then it's going to come back and it'll show pending status until approved. So sometimes it takes a day or two before a group approves you. But how do you choose a LinkedIn group? This is important. Groups should have people who will be your clients or prospects or power partners who would refer clients to you. Now how do you determine ideal groups to join in? Well, groups that have 15 or more new members every day, groups that have at least 10,000 members every day, all right, oh, I lost my little thing down here to move it along, groups that are marked active and very active, and also groups that have a lot of activity and engagement. In other words, there's new posts every day. Connecting with, how do you connect with members on, on the groups? You know, sending a connection request in LinkedIn. What you want to do is create a list of common first names, like I'm showing here. But if you don't want to reinvent the wheel, just send me an email, kenpbg at AOL, and ask for the list of common first names, and I'll forward them to you. And then as you go, a lot of Spanish names and what have you, I don't have on this list. So whenever you come across a, a name that's not on this list, just add it to it. All right, so now what do you do? You, how do you send a connection request in LinkedIn? All right, and again, we get a 62% response rate back on average. All right, so what you do is you just click on interest in groups, 
see interest up here just underneath the search bar you click on that and then a down arrow uh, down box shows up and you click on groups all right then you click on my groups on the top left where I have it circled now you want to click on the group that we're going to be working on all right So here it is, the CXO, CEO, CKO, and so forth group. Now what you do is, when that comes up, you're going to click on Advanced on the top of the page, next to the micro, uh, magnifying glass that's on top, uh, right over here. Okay, And this is what's now going to show up. So then you want to, in keywords, type your na uh, first name that you're using. In this case, we're talking about John. And then you want to click in either group members or just click in the second connection and third connection box because what you really want is your second and third connections because those are the ones that are already going to be on your first level. If you just type in, click, click in group members, you're going to also get the first level members. And then on the right hand side, you're going to click in CXO the group you're working on and then on the bottom left you click in the search bar okay now all the Johns will show up here so you see the first four they're already on your first level so here we got all right John Follis so you're going to collect select the first one that's on your second level and click on her name and in this situation it's asking me to click on connect for John and the reason for this all right is that some members require invitations only come from members with their email address such as in this case if that happens go back to the search results and, and go to the second one after that which is John Mayloff so now you click on the second level person's name that you wish to be click, uh, connected with. So you click on it, and now it shows connect. You click on connect, and now this, this is what's going to show up. All right? So what you do is you click on friend. You want to create a message that you're going to copy and paste when you go to do this every day. You want to have a message that simply says, as a fellow member of our, and you put the name of the group in, I'd like you to accept my request to connect. And you type your first name, last name, and then you click on send an invitation. Now, here you got view profile. All right? Once the person has accepted your connection request, Every day from now on, you're going to get an email from LinkedIn that's going to tell you, see John's connections, see Mary's connections, see Harry's connections, etc. If more than one person, which always happens, accepts your connection request, the message will read, see John's connections. All right? So when that happens is you want to click on View Profile. Now you want to go to your email and look for messages. And I have just one over that says see Mark's connection. You click on the profile. Now the important part is the whole purpose of this strategy is to get their personal email and phone numbers. So in your database CRM software, the first thing you're going to do is to type in their name, their personal email, and their phone number like I have down below there. This is the message I use uh, to send to people. So just take a moment and write it down. It says, hi Mark, thank you for accepting me into your network. On LinkedIn we are here to help each other with ideas and referrals. 
please tell me a little about yourself and who your ideal referral would be so that when I see someone like that, I can refer them to you. My personal email is, and you want to type in your email, and you want to type in have a great day, and then type your name and phone number on the bottom. All right, so take about five more seconds to write it down. And again, remember, you're going to get a copy, a link, to review this in your leisure, so when you come to this section, you can always just click on pause. All right, but now you want to put it in a, uh, a Word document, create a Ken Varga folder on your desktop, and put it in there and call it Connection Message. So now some of LinkedIn accounts will have a subject line. If you have a subject line, just type in from Ken Varga. If not, just type in hi, whatever their name is and right click and paste your, your accept your thank you message into the uh, box, the send a message box. Then you click on send a message. Now if you want a copy also of the acceptance message template, just let me know and I'll be glad to send it off to you. All right, so send an email to KentPBG at AOL. Now, this is very important. One out of ten individuals will respond back to you. So what you want to do, it's not the right time to sell them yet. What you want to do is create articles. Some of you, your companies, have articles relating to your products on how your products will help them. You could put together these type of products or go on ehow.com and select some articles there. All right? Now you want to thank them for telling you who their ideal referral would be. So you just simply say, you know, Jane, thank you for telling me who your ideal referral is. When I see someone like that, I will refer them to, to you. I came across the following article. I found it to be having valuable information. Please, and I thought it would help you. Please let me know what you think of it. Always when you forward an article, always put in there at the end, let me know what you think about it. Because once they respond, once they respond, then you're going to be able to sell them. Okay, now you want to find every now one or two things are going to happen. All right, you want to they're going to respond back and you follow up. But those that don't respond back, every four weeks you want to follow up. Uh, those of you who are in my coaching program know this, but those of you who aren't, uh, I go over extensively in module one uh, uh, about don't give up on prospects too soon. I give you an actual example of a hundred individuals that I wanted as a client and every month I would send out a follow-up message to those who didn't respond. Even after the twelfth message, twelve months from now, one year, eighty-seven out of a hundred did become my client because of the consistent monthly follow-up. Okay, so here's the follow-up message. Take a minute, write it up, and again, if you want me to send you a copy of it, just send me an email at kenpbg at aol.com. So this is it. Two weeks ago, I sent you an email via LinkedIn thanking you for accepting me into your network, and I asked you who your ideal referral would be so I can refer someone to you. I haven't heard back from you, so please let me know who your ideal referral would be, and I'll refer them to you. Have a great day, your name, your phone number. And you want to follow up every four weeks if they haven't responded. Now, with this connection message,
I get a 62% response rate from my virtual assistants. So it's very important that you do this. Everybody is on LinkedIn for one reason and one reason only, to get referrals. Now, yes, you have some social ones where they have dating or what have you, but you don't want to be on those. You want to be where your prospect is. And, and where your prospect is, everybody uh, is there to do get referrals. With the messages, we have just opened the door for them to bond with us. Here's some more important tips. Send to your second and third level connections only. Again, instead of clicking on the group members one, just click on the second and third level boxes. I want you to do 10 or more of this every day. You can send a maximum of 50 requests within each 24 hour period. I would suggest never to do more than 40. And you will have so many people responding to you. Now, you probably want to hire a virtual assistant to do this for you if you don't want to do it. So don't get stressed out. A VA spending an hour a day to send out 125 messages a week will be useful for you. But here's some benefits of using LinkedIn. It's an inexpensive way of building your pipeline and building your community. You have more prospective clients by joining groups and sending new connections. You now have a systematic way of doing lead generation. And you increase your referrals from your new connections. You know, according to my subscribers in my coaching program, they're getting up to 62% response rate also. For example, if you send out 100 messages per month, you're going to get 62 prospects to present your product or service to. Now understand, some individuals don't go on LinkedIn about maybe once a week or once a month. So don't be surprised if you don't hear from individuals for 30 days. And then all of a sudden they're going to accept your connection message. So keep that in mind. All right? Now, here's a little bit about my co coaching program. You're going to get a monthly module every month with new ideas that will help you create more customers. And on top of that, we have a monthly conference call where I handle whatever questions or problems you might have. But we're going to flood your business with customers for just $20 a month. Yeah, $20 a month. I'll show you additional ways of creating customers. All right? Once you sign up for the coaching program, we'll arrange another phone call, and I'll show you another mechanism how to create 10 to 25 new prospects per month. How do you sign up for it? Down below. Just write this link down. Go to www.buildyourdownlinefast.com. Every month I teach you how to get new customers and how to build your downline. And I'm going to give you a guarantee right now. All right? Number one, I don't want you to send me an email telling me my $20 is too cheap. I should charge more. But here's my guarantee to you. After you sign up and you get the first module, if you don't feel it's worth the $20, I'll return your $20 to you. Fair enough? So go to www.buildyourdownlinefast.com. All right, this is all easy to implement, everything I've just gone over with you. And you might think you're overwhelmed. Don't be. What you really need is a virtual assistant to help you generate prospects without you having to spend all the time doing it. This is important. A VAs create prospects for you. They can make phone calls for you. They can do a whole plethora of things that, for you. They can present your product or services to your ideal customer and, and client. I'm using a virtual assistant talent for many years now, and I found them to be very, very useful. The VAs can help you grow your network by helping you create and optimize your LinkedIn profile for searchability, sending your connection, 
messages, searching for and joining LinkedIn groups, posting interesting articles to your LinkedIn group, setting up appointments for you, creating and sending out newsletters, managing your content, updating your website, managing your social media, increasing your website traffic and search ranking and much, much more. VAs create prospects for you to present your product and services to. So what I'm going to do now is to introduce John Davern to go over what a VA can do for you. And it'll be well worth your while to stay till the end of the conversation is over. So I'm giving you John Davern now. All right. Well, uh, thanks. Thanks so much, Ken. It's a pleasure to be on this call. And, and thank you also, everybody, for, for being on this call as well. I've been part of uh, Ken's coaching program for uh, several years now. And um, it's, it's been a tremendous help for me and for my business. It's, it's really been the missing link uh, when, whenever I have a question or if I'm, let's say, for example, I'm doing an email campaign looking for good ad copy or, or looking for advice, the, the coaching program has really been instrumental in doing that. And um, one of the uh, things that, you know, one of the techniques, in fact, that, that he's just shared today, this is a, a technique uh, that, that uh, Ken had shared with me and had his uh, virtual assistant doing, and, and we've been doing that technique now for a, a few years as well, and it's, it's uh, a technique that's been tweaked, uh, if, um, but has stood the test of time, and, and we're still doing this, this technique, um, and it produces results for us. So what I'm going to talk to you today about is uh, some practical applications of the use of, of VAs and uh, how you can you utilize a virtual assistant in your business. Before I do that, though, uh, a little bit about my background. I've, I've got a human resources background, uh, so about 20 years experience in HR. I've uh, recruited and hired uh, thousands of people, trained thousands of people, and then also uh, trained and managed hundreds of virtual assistants. And um, in addition to my corporate background, though, I also um, am an entrepreneur at heart. And uh, the way that I got involved in being an entrepreneur, which included also uh, network marketing, is uh, I was working at uh, Home Depot during the uh, housing boom. I was an HR manager there, and, and a lot of people were flipping houses. And um, working my corporate job over 55, 60 hours a week, but I always had that desire to be an entrepreneur. And uh, fortunately, uh, one of the things that I got introduced to at a, uh, a real estate investing seminar that I attended was the idea of, hey, you don't have to do all this busy work on your own. You can have someone help you out to do that. And so that's when I hired my first virtual assistant as a real estate investor. And one of the, the first things that I did, it, it, it really got crazy with me trying to work a corporate job and then also having my own business. I was, I was probably, uh, as I mentioned, working about 55, 60 hours a week and then trying to put up my real estate investing website, do all my Craigslist ads, postings, answer phone calls from uh, people inquiring about wanting to uh, sell their properties. I had my virtual assistant do a couple tasks for me. So what I did first was I mapped out what are my daily tasks that I'm doing, what are my weekly tasks that I'm doing, what are my monthly tasks that I'm doing. And I standardized that work. I, I created documents on what the ta what's involved in doing those tasks. And one of the tasks that I was doing was the repetitive task of posting ads to Craigslist, indicating that I buy houses, um, that I'm looking for properties. And that's how I was able through that repetitive task of having the virtual assistant do that. I was able to uh, do some real estate deals. In fact, my first one of my first deals was a uh, wholesale deal that my virtual assistant found on Craigslist that um, I gave to the president of Real Estate Investment Club. And from that, I did some additional deals. People found out uh, about the success of using a virtual assistant. So I then that evolved actually into virtual assistant talent today. Um, same time, kind of a similar, because uh, this is a call with uh, network marketers, I was also uh, doing network marketing. And um, one of the uh, repetitive tasks that we were doing, we were trying to get people to go to our uh, business opportunity presentation that we are doing on, on Saturday mornings. So I had the VA go into uh, Craigslist repetitive posting of the, the business opportunity presentation. I had a, a virtual assistant 
uh, create the landing page um, that introduced the business opportunity to people. So we, we had a, a virtual assistant create the landing page with the opt-in. And so one of the things that I do uh, with, with my business, um, with my background, is, is I uh, work with business owners uh, to help them reduce the number of hours that they have to work each week and uh, leveraging virtual workforce to be able to do that and to expand your audience, to, to reach your capabilities. Because if you try to do everything on your own as, as, as one person, there's only so many hours in a day. And, and before I was using a virtual assistant, having my own business and uh, working the corporate job at the same time, I, w I was probably... Uh, there's a there's an interesting thing. There's a book out there uh, that I recommend checking out. It's called The Four Hour Work Week by Timothy Ferris, and it talks about outsourcing a lot of your different activities. And um, before I was doing that, I was more of or less living the the four hour sleep day, where I was uh, doing everything on my own. And sometimes I get five hours of sleep, four hours of sleep. Sometimes I get two hours of sleep and, and I'm like, well, it's, 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 uh, it's better than one hour of sleep, right? You know, so um, one of the things that I do is work with business owners to really um, help improve their work-life balance and seeing what are those tasks that you do, again, on a daily basis, weekly basis, monthly basis that could be outsourced to somebody else. And, um, you know, we as entrepreneurs, we work very hard. In fact, there was a uh, Inc. article that was put out. Interesting, the, the stats are same, the same. There was an Inc. article that was put out in 2006, and then again in 2014 that says entrepreneurs work more than 60 hours a week. So we work really hard, and the idea is, hey, take a look at what you're doing, and maybe there's uh, certain things that you can outsource and get help on. So um, that's exactly what I do in my business uh, with virtual assistant talent. We employ hundreds of uh, Philippines-based virtual assistants to support our clients providing services, as, as Ken mentioned before, doing the digital marketing, uh, search engine optimization, social media marketing, content writing, blogging, your web design, graphics design, lead gen, telemarketing, and admin functions. So really there's so many different things uh, that you can have a virtual assistant do for you, and, and that's really what my my goal is is to help people improve their work life balance um, by leveraging virtual workforce. You don't have to do it on your own, and so that's uh, exactly what we do. This uh, example here, the the LinkedIn task, which I'll tell you a little bit later. This is also something uh, that you can have a virtual assistant do for you. So this is the website if you're interested in learning more about how a virtual assistant can help you. Um, we basically uh, if you have a certain business need, we um, determine, we work with you, what are your business needs, and then we find the talent uh, to do that. We actually manage that talent, so we let you um, select from a few different VAs, and our VAs are proven reliable. They've got a track record with our clients and customers, and then we monitor the VAs. We have a, a time tracking system that they log into uh, to, to manage the VA so we can see because people are working home-based, we can tell that they're working. So that's a little bit about us. Uh, that's our, our website. And again, my goal is to really help uh, people to improve their work-life balance, have more time with their family, healthier lifestyle. You wake up at the, uh, you wake up well rested. And you know, one of the beauties of having a virtual assistant is you don't have to do all that work on your own. You can wake up in the morning refreshed. You don't have to stay up till three, four in the morning doing your postings. Um, managing your website, following up with clients, um, it, it can really help to transform your life and, and business. And as I mentioned before, you know, a couple applications that I used personally, personally um, when I was in, in network marketing, again, was the repetitive posting on uh, Craigslist about the business opportunity presentation, uh, creating the landing page for a business opportunity, and um, we've also uh, leverage VAs to do recruitment, so uh, seeking, uh, looking on job boards, people seeking opportunities and communicating with those people either with uh, an ad posting or, or emails. So you can also do it not only for, um, you can do it for prospecting for, for recruitment for uh, your downlines as well. Um, social media, again, you know, is a, is, a, is a big thing, so leveraging LinkedIn um, is very powerful for your business and one of the things that we've done 
um, is I mentioned about standardizing work, right? There's so many different things, so not just LinkedIn that you can have a VA do, but this particular program here um, has stood the test of time. I've been using LinkedIn for three, four years now and using the, the technique that Ken has showed in this presentation today. So what we've done, uh, we decided to put this into a, a program um, where the work is for the most part standardized. Um, there's a standard repetitive task that either you can do yourself or uh, that you can have a, a virtual assistant do. And the program uh, that we've done um, is uh, going to, if you don't have a LinkedIn account, um, we have a VA that can help you set up your LinkedIn account. So if it's, it's not something that you're familiar with, we can help you do that. Uh, if you already have a LinkedIn account, we'll help you to optimize that account. So as an example, um, if you look at your, your profile, when people are, are seeking, uh, seeking out other people on LinkedIn, um, similar to like with, with Google, there's a search function. You can search and look at people's profiles. And what we do is we, we look to make sure that your profile is optimized. So let's say, for example, if somebody is you know, looking for, um, let's say they're looking for an uh, insurance agent, or let's say they're looking for um, business opportunities like in network marketing, whatever that might be, you know, if it's uh, in health and nutrition, or let's say they're looking for a real estate agent, there's, there's keywords you know, that people use on LinkedIn. And um, the, your profile uh, can show up in those results. So we look to optimize your profile so that when people are searching that uh, they're more likely to, to find you than if you had not optimized your profile. So we help you set up your LinkedIn account, optimize your profile. Um, that's kind of the setup uh, phase of it. And then just like Ken showed you here, uh, the daily activity, um, some initial work that we need to do is get you uh, joined in the different LinkedIn groups that are going to contain your, your potential clients. So they could either be you know, customers of uh, your product or service, uh, power partners, or uh, people that you want to join in your business. So we join 10 groups, um, and it could be up to the potential maximum uh, over time, the LinkedIn maximum 100 groups. And we look at those groups. Um, the group activity. Are those groups active? This is very important when you're looking in LinkedIn. Are people active? Are they engaged? Are people in that group responding to the messaging that you're sending out? And so the VA can monitor that and switch you out of different groups if those groups are not performing. The VA then is also going to send 25 connection messages per day, um, 125 connection messages per week. So that's, a, that's you know, up to around 500 per month. And if you're getting a certain percentage, of people responding, then the VA is going to modify and notify your positive responses for message. And a couple of things that you could do, you could either uh, follow up, uh, the VA flags it, and then you could follow up by making a phone call. Uh, depending on what your business is, you might even have the VA do you know, uh, a follow up or send them a message as well. So uh, this, is, this is the program that we've uh, created if you don't want to do this on, on your own and you want to have somebody uh, such as a virtual assistant do the task for you. I always look at uh, when it comes to my work activities in my business, um, is this something that I should be doing? Is it something that I could hire somebody else to do, whether it's an office-based worker or virtual worker? And I look at how much is my time worth. And these are just some statistics. You can always, I, I recommend you can look at Bureau of Labor Statistics or payscale.com. Um, this kind of just shows you, you know, what's the value of your time. And you could be doing higher value activities such as presenting to potential clients, potential recruits into your business, um, things that really you're going to make a huge difference by you doing your, yourself the highest value activities. And uh, for example, um, these are just some statistics that, that show how much uh, your time might be worth depending on what category you fall into. Uh, small business owners, um, for example, average mid-salary around 60000 The average person in the United States around 46000 And um, what I've got up here as an example is if you're just doing the LinkedIn task an hour, uh, an hour per day um, as an example, uh, weekdays, if on a weekly basis, if you were to do it yourself and you're a small business owner, uh, the, the cost of doing that weekly, $142 or $560 a 
monthly. You could also look at outsourcing that or um, to, to an office-based worker. Let's say you hire a marketing assistant to do the task for you and the average marketing assistant's earning 60 91 per hour. So the, your weekly cost and monthly cost would be what you see right there. Or let's say you hire an admin assistant to do that. And it's all about ROI. And, and uh, you know, Ken, yeah, go ahead, Ken. Let me just interrupt here a minute. Everybody that's on the conference call should understand that they should run their business like a business, which means whenever you're investing a dollar into something to result in sales, you have to determine every month your return on investment. So I, I every month look at my cost for, through your organization uh, versus the results, and I have found that my return on investment by using a virtual assistant has last month been 327% return. So, I mean, it's well worth it, John. Definitely, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a huge ROI. And, um, you know, it's, it's uh, one of the um, amazing things about uh, leveraging a virtual assistant is not having to do all those activities on, on your own. And looking at those activities, and if an activity is working, you keep doing it, you tweak it, you, you, you keep in, improving your ROI. If the activity is not working, then maybe you phase that out and you do something different that's going to work better. Um, and so it's it's all about uh, looking at uh, what is your ROI, how, how valuable is your time, and is this something that you want to do? Is it something that you want to hire, for example, an office-based worker to do? Um, or do you want to have a, a virtual assistant do it for you? And uh, so the, the program that we come up with um, for the VA to do this specific task for you, uh, it's, it's much less than if you were to spend your own time doing it or let's say you were going to hire an office-based worker to do it. And in, in the, the thing about virtual assistants is you're getting high caliber people who are uh, in most cases college educated, in, in many cases have held uh, supervisory and management roles in office spaces, uh, but uh, have a desire to work from home. Um, in, in some cases they may uh, uh, have had children and wanted to spend time with the children at home or spend time with the family, but these are high caliber people and it's, it's not even if uh, you know, there's not even a comparison in terms of if I hired a, an admin assistant here to do a repetitive task in an office to me, for me versus a uh, home-based worker in the Philippines that has managed, in some cases, 20, 30, 50 people um, at, a, at a corporate job but is now working from home. The level of talent is just amazing with what you can get. Um, and it's very cost effective for uh, people who are on a tight, tight budget. So uh, our, our package that we come up with for this LinkedIn task is uh, $49 a week, but we do have um, a promotion uh, that would be $44 a week or $176 per month if you wanted to uh, outsource this uh, proven technique. Um, I, I say that because I've just been using this same technique uh, with, with Ken. Um, on LinkedIn and um, so this is the uh, promotion that we have going on if you go to our website at virtualassistanttalent.com and I'll give you the, the link next uh, you can use a promotion code that's going to give you a discount uh, for your first two months of service um, we've got flexible plans uh, a weekly bi-weekly monthly plan so uh, just mark down these promo codes uh, they're also going to be available in the webinar replay Ken 5 if you do the weekly plan, Ken 10 if you do the bi-weekly, and Ken 20 if you do the monthly plan. So this is a program where you'd have the VA doing this repetitive task for you, and uh, you can cancel it at, at any time, although you know this is something that continues to produce results. You know, one of the, the nice things about LinkedIn, you, you build you build your number of connections and, and that's your fear of, sphere of influence. They can see your pulse messages when you're putting your pulse out. You can export the contacts. Uh, you, you have the people's contact information. You can uh, communicate with them. You can uh, send them newsletters and so forth. So you've just really expanded uh, your network. So if you're interested in that program, here's the link for it. Uh, you go to virtualassistanttalent.com forward slash 
LinkedIn. And then if you have any questions, uh, you can give us a call. Uh, but it's virtualassistanttalent.com forward slash LinkedIn. And uh, the thing I wanted to emphasize so much is that the coaching program and VA services complement each other perfectly. And, and that's, that's from my own personal experience uh, because it's, it's all about what messaging that you're sending people. You could do this same technique or task and send messages to the hundreds and hundreds of people, but what if you don't have, as an example, what if you don't have a, a, a good ad copy, right? Um, if the ad copy is not there, people are just going to ignore your message. Um, and that's something that's so valuable is, as being a part of Ken's program is if something's uh, not working for you, uh, you can get his help and advice on the coaching call. And um, you have that access to this amazing resource uh, through the coaching program. And, and I've had to do that. I've, I've made tweaks. Um, you know, when I first started doing this, I was using a, I, tried doing a slightly different message um, than what Ken was teaching and we were not getting uh, as good of results and so then I went back to what Ken was doing but we as we come up with roadblocks we tweak it we refine it and so that's what I love so much about the coaching program so Ken's coaching program if you want to sign up for that um, is buildyourdownlinefast.com buildyourdownlinefast.com so um, on some of the other web webinars that we did, uh, people were asking, well, what if I don't want a VA to do the LinkedIn or I, I want the VA to, to do different tasks? Do you offer some other services? And, and so that's why I added uh, this, this slide to the presentation. Yes, we do offer other different services. So really, um, if you look at what work needs to be done to run your business, what work needs to be done to grow your business, and if you evaluate, can it be done remotely? That's that's what we do. Is we we help you find opportunities for you to save time and money and help you scale your business. And uh, there's diff so many different things we could do. We could manage your newsletter. We could update your your website. Uh, we could answer phone calls for you. Um, so these are this is kind of an example of the the pricing that we have for a virtual workforce or virtual assistants uh, for our non technical virtual assistants if they're doing admin assistant social media content research data entry um, the non technical VAs typically uh, start at around eight twenty an hour and then you ha we have flexible programs to meet really any budget you know, ten hours a week fifteen twenty full time forty hours a week as many VAs as you need. Um, and then if you need technical VAs to do your web design and maintenance, graphics, IT, programming, design your company logo, design your company website, um, that's starting at $11.20 an hour. And our programs are flexible. You can uh, start the program. You can cancel any time. You can have a, a prepaid balance that carries from month to month uh, if you just need VAs for, for small activities. So we can really work with you on that. So again, uh, this is just for people who might be, if you're interested in some other types of services, go to virtualassistanttalent.com or you can uh, give us a call at the number listed there. So. Um, if you do sign up for our services, there is also a promotion that we have going on for, for Thanksgiving um, for our other program, uh, which is uh, you can get $50 off if you use the promo code FALL2016. Again, if you call us and you, you forget about this information, uh, we can always help you with it. There's going to be a webinar replay, or if you call the number, we're aware of uh, the promo codes and can help you. So. Um, Appreciate you all being on the call, and again, we're going to provide a, a recording of this uh, call uh, and webinar that's going to go out um, in the next uh, few days, so you'll be receiving that. And then, Ken, is there um, anything you wanted to, to add to that? I just wanted to thank everybody for being on the call, and uh, like I said, I'm only an email away. If you have any questions, send me the email to kenpbg at aol.com. I thank you all for being on. All right. Thanks, everybody.